Hi and welcome to Jokmok, I'm Stina and today I will give you four easy tips on how to avoid blisters on your feet while hiking. Uh, many videos today talk about how to treat the blisters when they already occurred, but I think it's better to not get any blisters at all. For you who is new to the channel, I'm Stina and together with my partner Matti, I run an outdoor business up here in Jokmok in the north of Sweden. And in summertime we do hiking tours and we do canoe tours and some pack rafting. Uh, but in winter time it's all about dog sledding tours and expeditions with our 50 dogs. So in this video I will share our four best tips to avoid blisters with Mr. Foot here because blisters can really take out the, much of the joy of the hiking experience. So let's get into it. Tip number one, don't use brand new hiking boots or hiking shoes when you start out on your hike. Wear them at home as much as you can before so they are well fitted before you start out on the trail because you don't want any unwelcome surprises out there. Uh, you can use them for example when you're walking to the supermarket, walking your dog or friend or whatever you're walking with and, or cutting the lawn or doing different chores at home. And it's also important that you try them out with a backpack on your back with some weight because weight affects your feet differently than if you're walking without. And also, don't forget to use them in different terrains before you head out. Tip number two, socks. Socks are as, is, as important as the shoes you're wearing. And with bad socks, you can get both blisters and bad foot hygiene. As in most other outdoor areas, when it comes to clothes, cotton is really bad to have close to your skin. So no cotton socks. The reason not to wear cotton is that it absorbs sweat and water and it takes a long time to dry and it has bad uh, insulation properties, especially when it's wet. The best hiking socks are merino wool or socks of a merino synthetic mix and you should wear two pair. Uh, one thinner inner sock uh, and one thicker outer sock. Uh, why should you wear two socks, you may ask, because the socks help to reduce friction between your foot and the shoe. So the friction would then be between the two pair of socks instead of your skin. The inner sock also helps to wick away moisture from the foot and less moisture means also less blisters. The second outer layer sock absorbs moisture and also gives some extra cushioning to your foot. Uh, many hiking socks today actually have some extra padding on areas where you're more prone to get blisters, so that's really good. Uh, we ourselves prefer to use a wool synthetic mix sock as the inner sock and the thicker outer sock we use are wool. Tip number three tape. If you know that you easily get blisters, you should tape your foot before you even start out on the hike. I, for example, know that I'm prone to get blisters. Here I show you on Mr. Foot instead of my own foot. foot. Uh, I easily get blisters here on the back side of my foot, on the heel here. So I always tape my feet before I start out on a longer hike. There are lots of fancy expensive foot tapes, but I or we uh, use this type. It's a, it's a very simple but very good tape and it sits for several days. I have worn the same taping on my foot for a whole week and so I think it's good when you don't have to change tape every day. So when I tape the back of my foot, I tape it like this, I take a bit of longer tape, this, and then I put it, let me see here, I put it like this, oh. Tape doesn't attach so good on Mr. Foot's silicone skin, 
but it fits really good on human skin. So I put it like this. See one long here and then I put one here and then I also put even one more over there so it should look like this yeah, as I said, this tape really fits good on human skin, but not on the sil silicone skin here on Mr. Foot. So it's really simple and quick and has saved me from blisters many times. It can also be that you get rubbings uh, between your toes and like the toes are rubbing like this or a toenail or so is rubbing and then of course you should cut your nails before start hiking so they are short and good but if you get rubbing between the toes you can also tape your toe like this and then you should use, now I don't have any scissors with me here, but you cut off some of the tape here and then you tape your toe like this. Some also get blisters underneath the toes here and then you can actually put some taping there too, like this. As soon as you feel a blister is coming and that you feel by a burning feeling on your skin you should immediately stop, take off your shoes and socks and check your foot and prevent it by taping. If you walk too far the rubbing will become a blister. Tip number four. The last tip for the day is to air your feet when you take break. Uh, take off the socks and the boots and let your feet free for a while. It's a really nice feeling to get your feet out of a tight and maybe wet boot for a while and if it's uh, nice weather and sunshine also your socks will dry when you're having the break. So yeah this was my last tip for today. I hope it would help you along the way when hiking to protect your feet. And if you like this video and want to see more, don't forget to subscribe and give us a thumb up. Uh, we are not only sharing videos like this about outdoor tips, but we also make videos from all our adventures and the daily life up here in the north with our dogs. So I hope to see you again. Bye!